What you are witnessing are scenes of the aftermath of a fatal collapse. The toll in human deaths and overall destruction would lead you to think that this was a result of a deadly accident. Mia Winters and Alan Droney were on a mission. They needed a special form of transportation in order to transport a package, a much sought after package that many corporations were after, and they decided that traveling on the sea was the most secretive way to protect the package, although this wasn't any ordinary package. It was instead a 10-year-old girl named Evelyn. Appearances can be deceiving. Evelyn may seem like a harmless young girl, but in reality, she is a bioweapon engineered and produced by an unknown Japanese company named Tensu. Her purpose was to be sold on the black market as yet another superweapon. Don't be fooled. She isn't a robot. She possesses human-like needs. Needs that belong to a 10-year-old girl like her appearance betrays her to be. It's because of this that Evelyn desperately needs and wants a family. This is where Mia Winters and Alan Joni stepped in. They were meant to serve as Evelyn's so-called parents in order to keep her from behaving badly and to proceed with her transportation. But once Evelyn figured out what was really going on, all hell broke loose. <laughs> that little bitch, she never trusted. Okay, wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie! Alan, listen! I didn't mean to call you that. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn, stop! We'll be together forever. Three years after the collapse, Evelyn had found a home and a family. The Bakers may seem like a bunch of lunatics, however, Evelyn had finally got what she wanted, by force. She completely took over the Baker home, controlling the Bakers themselves to do her bidding. Act as her family members and have them bring in people to be used as more additions to her so-called family. It began when Jack Baker initially found both Evelyn and Mia abandoned on the street after the collapse. I found a yeah, busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. Things began changing in the Baker home as soon as Evelyn was brought in. Accounts from Marguerite Baker showcased the transition from a regular family to Evelyn's family. This so-called gift was Evelyn's virus, her bioweapon abilities. The abilities included health regeneration, among other unique abilities. Lucas Baker showcases just how addictive the gift is. Right here is special. You see, Ethan, what? What, Evelyn? I'm just trying to show him. I'm just trying to show him that everybody wants to go back to how things were. Evelyn wanted a bigger family. She manipulated Mia to tell her estranged husband about the whereabouts of her location. Without hesitation, Ethan came to the Baker home to save his wife Mia, who had been missing for over three years. Mia wasn't able to leave so easily though, as she was infected with Evelyn's virus. Ethan needed to create a serum comprised of a D-series head and arm. After finally creating the serum and disinfecting Mia, they began to escape. Except Evelyn had other plans. What the fuck? What is that? What is that? Evelyn confronts Mia about what happened during the collapse of the ship, but Mia is fed up with Evelyn's overbearing need for a family. Can we be a family like before? No, Evie. We can't be a family. We were never a family. We will never be a family. As much as both Ethan and Mia were fed up with Evelyn's manipulations, so too was Evelyn fed up with Ethan and Mia's constant rejection of becoming her parents. Evelyn no longer wanted them. As a result, Evelyn had to be put down. Ethan creates the anti-E001, known as the E-Necrotoxin. As hard as it may have been for Ethan to harm a small child, the job needed to be done. But once it was over with, an amazing discovery was found. She followed you everywhere. She was always watching you in silence. 
Evelyn's true form was that of the old woman in a wheelchair this whole time. Files reveal that after the initial collapse and Evelyn's escape, she went weeks without her medication, causing her to age rapidly. This is an absolutely sad discovery, knowing that Evelyn, in a sense, had lived a full life without a family. But it was over with, and the necrotoxin destroyed Evelyn. As you make your way through the Baker home, you begin to access a child's bedroom. Decorated with toys and small furniture, you begin to see the unfathomable pain of an experiment created solely to destroy, but in contrast, only wanted a home. The diaries, the drawings, and all the other washed over decorations paint a truly saddening picture of a perverted vision of a child through the eyes of a company that only cared for the profits it brought. Who is the true victim here? When all is said and done, Evelyn's story is one of the most heartbreaking revelations in Resident Evil history. Did you like the video? Be sure to hit that like button and comment down below your suggestion for other lore videos. We're getting so close to 10,000 subs, so if you guys can share this video with others, it would be much appreciated. Thanks again, and as always, stay single.